guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the absolute worst products of 2017. So, um, you know, a lot of these products I purchased because everybody was raving on about them and they were really hyped up on Instagram and whatnot. And some of these products are just things that I stumbled across and that I tried that were really not good at all, like the worst of the worst. <laughs> I feel like the best way to do this is to go through them in the order that I would normally apply them. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's jump into it. Wow, we've got some background music in today's video. I feel like my neighbors are having like a rave. Oh my gosh, can you hear that? <laughs> Okay, first up I have this primer by Models Own. This is the oil-free uh, mattifying face-based primer. Literally the worst. Um, but basically, I just, I don't like this at all because it makes me oilier than anything. And even when you apply it, it leaves this oily residue all over your hands. It leaves an oily residue all over your skin and you'll just get super greasy during the day. I don't know how it's marketed as an oil-free primer when it really isn't at all. It's just, it's not good. Avoid, 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 avoid. Next up, I have some foundations and one of them is actually a brand new release. Um, we'll do that one last. First, the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. The entire world, I feel, the entire internet just went crazy over this thing about how much they loved it, was raved about it, was like meant to be the best thing ever for oily skin. Oh my gosh, this gave me texture on my skin that I didn't even know existed. It made my skin look so coarse and aged and awful. It didn't give me hardly any coverage. I'm still to this day baffled why people love this. I don't know, maybe my skin just doesn't agree to it. I've tried it with that many different primers. I've tried it with different powders. I've tried it with different application methods. Cannot get it to work. So yeah, I do have a full review video on this one if you want to see. Well, really, it's the saddest thing of life. If you want to see how bad this looks on my skin, um, head over to that video, but honestly, ugh. Another foundation, and I am still to this day, again, really sad about this because uh, the whole world loves it. Everybody raves on about it. The coverage is amazing. It, the lasting power is amazing. Everyone's just like, yes, this faux filter foundation by Huda Beauty. My skin hates this stuff. I get so super greasy. It transfers. And when I touch my face when I'm wearing it, it's like it instantly oxidizes and leaves like it leaves like these weird marks on my skin. I don't know. It caked. It separated. It settled into all of my fine lines and pores. It emphasized texture. I don't know. My skin hates this. And again, um, much like the Tarte one, if you want to see my full review, I will link it down below. It's, it's not pretty. It's a train wreck. Mm, mm. And then the final foundation is the brand new NARS foundation. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Again, I've got a full review on this one. I was excited for months for this foundation. I was leading up to the launch. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try it. It's meant to be transfer proof. It's meant to be long wear. It's meant to be amazing for oily skin types. None of the above proved to be true in my case. Um, it transferred instantly. At the end of all three days in my wear test, pretty much the entire center of my face was missing product. My nose was red, my chin was red. It had just rubbed straight off. It oxidized, it got cakey, it separated. It was just a hot mess. So unfortunately the new NARS foundation, not a winner for me. Luckily, Sheer Glow is like my best friend in life. She makes up for it. <laughs> okay, next up, I've got a bronzer. This is one by Estee Lauder. Um, this was like their double wear BB bronzer stick. Oh, this was another train wreck for me. Um, what For whatever reason, wherever I applied this and tried to blend it, it essentially dissolved my foundation and like rubbed it off. I don't know why or how. I tried using it with the applicator. I tried using it with a sponge, with brushes, with my fingers. Could never get it to work. It basically just rubs your foundation off where you apply. It doesn't really have great pigmentation. It doesn't give me the bronzy, beautiful glow that I was promised. Yeah, for me, no go. And I mean, I was surprised because we all know that Double Wear and me, we get along. We get along well. Not this particular product, no. Oh, I do have an eyebrow product that I forgot to mention, sorry. This is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. I have got it in the color dark. Really didn't like this product because look how cool toned and amazing this looks in the pan. It looks like it will match my coloring beautifully. It looks like it will be fantastic. Yeah, it is essentially red when it is applied. It is redder than red. I think that if you are a redhead, you'd probably love this. Get the color dark, but if you are genuinely dark, don't go near this. It is like orange brows. Why? Why you gotta do that to me, Elf? 
Why? Okay, I've got an eye primer here that was just, unfortunately, a complete fail. This is another Models Own product. I'm surprised because um, Models Own do have a bunch of products that I am literally obsessed with that I just think are amazing. But yeah, I've had two fails from them this year, unfortunately. This is the Eye Base Eyeshadow Primer. This is the matte version. This doesn't work. It's got no pigmentation. It makes my eyeshadow creasy and greasy. It really balls up on the skin. For me, it just made eyeshadows harder to blend out. Um, yeah, it was hard to work with and it made my life difficult. So I don't want you in my life anymore. I'm sorry. Bye. Got two standout eyeshadow products here. Firstly, mm, I spoke about these. I feel like, was it my November Hits and Shits video? I can't remember. Um, these are the absolute worst. These are the Glitter Injections uh, Pressed Glitter Pans. They grow mold. They grow mold. Uh, they're not sanitary. They're not safe to be near your eyes. I spent so much money on these. I think three or four hundred dollars on these. I collected all the colors because I was like, <laughs> pressed glitter? Like, hello, I need you. Yeah, no, these are absolutely terrible. Don't go near them. Don't put them near your eyes. Um, I I cannot condone products. I mean, oh, I'm going to have to get them out and show you. It's disgusting. Look at the sides of the pans. That's not like the actual glitter. That's like weird black goo that leaks out and goes moldy. It's such a shame because, I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. And it's all over every single one of these. Like, this is like a really light color. It's got nothing to do with like a dark pigmentation or something leaking out. And look, it's left it all in the tray here. Ugh. Don't waste your money on these guys. These are absolutely the worst. And then the other product that I just thought was a complete... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I've got no words. The Maybelline Rock Nudes Palette. Um, patchiest, least pigmented, hardest palette to work with that I have come across. It's This thing is a joke. It's honestly a joke. Don't go near it. Don't waste your money. Um, beautiful dark colors. Love the color palette. Love the layout. Love the you know entire design of the palette. Unfortunately, the formula is terrible. There's just no pigmentation. It's patchy. It's... It's powdery, you get the worst fallout. It's just horrible, horrible, horrible. So yeah. Okay, moving on, I've got two highlighters here that I wanted to mention. Firstly, this one by Fenty Beauty. This is her Match Stick Shimmer Skin Stick in Starstruck. I was really disappointed with this because it's basically impossible to apply. Swatches fairly well on the hands. Um, it blends fairly well on the hands. You take this anywhere near your face, for some reason, it wipes the foundation off. It's a very dry formula, so you can't even apply it directly to the skin. And I'm not interested in a stick cream product if I can't actually apply it to the skin. Like, what's the point in having it in this packaging if I can't just go like this and then dab it in? Yeah, no. It's also quite gritty. Um, you can see here on the back of my hand, it really is revealing like a fair bit of texture. It's not, it's not the most amazing, smooth, pigmented, buttery formula ever. I was really disappointed in this because everybody raved on and on and on about her highlighting sticks. Couldn't get it to work. So yeah, this one will be going to the makeup graveyard. Unfortunately, I adore the contour stick version of this. Oh my gosh, and it lasts all day on oily skin. But this one, yes, one of my biggest purchase regrets. <laughs> and then the second highlighter is one of the ones by Kylie Cosmetics. I'm also not into the packaging. Like, what? Anyway, this is the shade French Vanilla. Uh, it's her pressed illuminating powder. Um, these are still for sale on the Kylie Cosmetics website. What is with the packaging? What? I forgot how boring it was. Anyway, I hated this stuff. Oh, look, I still got the plastic in it. That's how much I didn't like it. I've probably only used it once. Um, I hated this stuff because it's got zero pigmentation. You can go to town with your brush into this, pack it on your face, nothing shows up. It's just, I don't know. And like, even when you swatch it, like, let's go nuts, ready? Hardly anything. Like, yeah, there's nothing there. I don't, I don't get it. This was a huge fail for me. Expensive too, with international shipping and the conversion rate and yeah, expensive. Also got some lip products here by Kylie Jenner. I absolutely love her Ordinary Liquid Matte Lipstick Formula. I think it's beautiful. It lasts really well. The colors are amazing. But the new velvet formula that she released, I literally put this on within 30 seconds. And I'm not kidding. It happens that quickly. I get that really gross buildup on the inner portion of my lips. You know that, like that line, it's like lighter than the lip color. It's like, it's like lip goop. Ooh, it's disgusting. It makes you look like you haven't brushed your teeth or something. Like it's not cute. It's really not. It happens instantly with these lip products. I don't know what's in there. I don't know if it's just me that reacts to them. But again, spent a lot of money on these. Literally cannot use them at all. And they've touched my mouth, so I can't even give them to anyone. 
And then lastly, I have some cleansing wipes. These are the Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Towelettes with Cucumber and Sage, meant to be 100% natural, meant to be soothing, uh, gently. Ooh, they're meant to be gentle. <laughs> yeah, right. Ooh, it's meant to leave my skin feeling nourished. Holy crap. These burn like you wouldn't believe. These are the burning towels of fire. My eyes were stinging, my skin was stinging, my nose was stinging, my mouth was stinging, and it's not just me that's had that reaction to these. I know of several other people who have had the same response. What did they put in these that is so damn painful? What? <laughs> it's devastating, because mm, they smell so good and I would love to be able to use them. Blah. Blah. And then lastly, I have one hair care product. Oh, this was the disappointment of the century because I was that excited. I think actually I included this in a Sephora haul and I was like literally jumping over myself to try this. I was that excited. Now I feel like such an idiot because it doesn't work. <laughs> This is the Way Dry Shampoo Foam. This is meant to be a foam kind of based uh, dry shampoo. You're meant to be able to apply it to your roots and through your hair and it's meant to give you know that dry shampoo, clean hair look. <laughs> well now, if you want to look like Snape out of Harry Potter, yeah, give this a go. The greasiest hair you can imagine. It is horrible. Even Gollum out of Lord of the Rings. You know how his hair like hangs in tendrils? If you want to go for that look, honey, all power to you. Grab this one, you'll get there. <laughs> but yeah, if you're looking to have your hair look less oily, stand back at least, you know, 10 yards. Like, what if I disappointing? I absolutely, oh my gosh. It's meant to add volume. Are you kidding? It made my hair stick to my scalp. Disappointing because a lot of the products in this line are absolutely amazing. But yeah, unfortunately, this was a mega, mega, mega fail. So there you have it guys, those are in my opinion the absolute worst products that I personally came across in 2017, they just didn't work. There are a lot of other products that I mentioned in my Hits and Shits series, you know, for each month. I mean, if you haven't seen them, I'll link that playlist down below. It's basically like the best and worst products of each month. But yeah, there are a lot of other shits in those videos that, I, you know, I really didn't like and I certainly won't be using again, but they didn't make like the top of the top of the top worst products. So yes, I hope this video helped you guys. I hoped it was interesting and I hope that it saves you some money. Don't waste your money on any of these products. Just don't. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.